Hi, my name is Tom Bornemann from Fostering Space Lessons. Um, if you are an absolute beginner on the bass, this is the right video for you because starting from today I will show you some of the videos of my complete online bass method which you can access via my Patreon page. Link is in the description. Let's start with some basic bass technique. And firstly, we're gonna um, talk about the picking hand. So here's a detailed description to help you learn the basic playing technique of the plucking hand correctly. In the first exercise, we play the A and the D string alternately. So firstly, place the thumb of your right hand on the pickup of your bass from above. Now stretch out your index finger and place it on the A string from above. Next, set the string slightly under tension by pressing on the string a little from above. Now pull the finger in the direction of the thumb with a string snapping under the lower end of your finger. After plucking, the index finger rests against the next deeper string, which is the E string in this case. Now repeat this with your middle finger. Lay your finger on the string from above, apply light pressure, let the string snap, rest middle finger on the E string. Then follows the index finger again. So we always play alternately with index finger and middle finger. This is called alternate picking. When changing to the D string, you pull the thumb down so that it now comes to rest on the E string while you press the index finger onto the D string from above. Now strike the D string alternately with your index and middle finger. If you now move from the D string back to the A string, you have to mute the D string. You do this with the fret hand. Place two or more fingers of the fret hand on the string lightly, so it's prevented from vibrating any longer. The thumb of the plucking hand moves back into the basic position on the pickup when you go to the A. So here comes your first alternate picking exercise, which comes along with a play along to make it more musically. In the second alternate picking exercise, we are going to move between strings more often. So if this is the case, you've got to find a proper position for your thumb that fits both strings or even more. In the first two bars of the exercise, we are going to change between A and D string, like this. As you can see, I have my thumb on the E string for this part of the exercise. In this way I can reach for both strings really comfortably. The main point of pulling your thumb up and down on this exercise is to prevent your hand to go like this. I mean to have a wide stretch 
between the thumb and your plucking fingers. Yeah? For example, if you put the thumb on the pickup and try to pluck the G string, you have this wide stretch. Why is it bad? Yeah, try to move your fingers like this when your thumb is stretched out. As you can see, it doesn't look like uh, it's easy. Yeah? <laughs> it isn't easy. It's really hard to do this motion. Yeah? And it's much more easy if you have the hand like this. This has to do something with uh, this has something to do with the anatomy of your hand and especially with the tendons. So always try to have this um, stretch not too wide between the thumb and the plucking fingers. So if you pluck A and D string, I recommend to put the thumb on the E, uh, e string. Yes. And on bars 3 and 4 of the exercise, we are going to pluck the D and the G string. So the proper position for the thumb would be on the A string.